What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and one of the main goals I had for my channel when I started it was to always include humor in whatever news stories I cover because these news stories, they could be really dark and depressing. So I always wanted to add a little flair of humor just to lighten the mood and take the weight off of people's shoulders. And if you know me in real life or if you've been subbed, to my channel for long enough, then you know that I'm that type of guy that will crack a joke at an awkward moment when most will deem it unnecessary or distasteful. That's the type of person I am. I mean, we'll be in the middle of talking true crime and I'll just drop a joke. But lately, it's been kind of hard, you know, joking about some of the topics that we cover. And it's been kind of hard figuring out when and where can I really insert humor into some of this stuff because the stuff we've been talking about, it's really heavy and it's really serious. Now, a few days ago, I was talking about Amanda Bynes and her co-star of the Amanda Bynes show, actually, Drake Bell. Because Drake Bell went missing and the world kind of went crazy for a moment because Drake Bell was missing. And it was reported that he was in danger and everyone was wondering what was going on. Well, he was found in a record amount of time. And I told you then that there has to be more to the story that we don't know. Well, there's been a lot of developments, which I chose not to cover because, you know, I cover things, but often I try to stay away from certain things, but... Long story short, like I told you all, there was more to the story. Drake Bell was going through problems with his wife, who has now filed for divorce. He was threatening to do things to himself when he went missing. So that's why the missing persons report came out so quickly and why they were so urgent to find him. And that's why they said that he was in danger and that he was endangered. Because before he disappeared, if you will, he was threatening to do things to himself. So that's an already messed up situation. But then Drake Bell actually opened up on his Twitter account and talked about some of the things that have been bothering him. For one, he revealed that he learned about his divorce. He learned that his wife had filed for divorce from TMZ, not from his wife, not from anyone else. He saw it online from TMZ, just like all of us. So I imagine that is a very difficult situation. So Drake Bell opened up online and he said that people were going to be the death of him, that they were going to drive him to do something to himself because people keep labeling him a, I can't even say the word on YouTube. They keep labeling him someone who is fond of kids. Let's just say that. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of the situation that happened with Drake Bell. I know that it was something involving a, I believe, a 15-year-old girl. I don't know the ins and outs of that situation. So I'm not going to speak on that situation. But that's where we're at. That was the, I guess, what was going on with Drake Bell. Like, he was having a hard time not only dealing with the problems with his wife, but dealing with people labeling him what they're labeling him online. And I would think that people who are saying these things about Drake online, I think they're the ones that are causing problems in his relationship. You know, I mean, if you get online and you see your husband labeled this and that, you know, it may cause problems in your relationship. Now, I'm not here to defend Drake. And I'm not here to criticize him. Like I said, I don't know about that situation that well. What I do know is, though, that ever since then, there's been a few things going on with Drake Bell that I find very concerning. Because he was just pictured in his car huffing balloons. And, you know, I got to say that this is one of the addictions that I never have been able to understand. Like, I've never dealt with, um, like, substance abuse issues myself. I've dealt with people who have. I've had people in my family and my friends who have had issues. 
But I never really understood the huffing of balloons and canisters and stuff. It seems like a weird addiction to have, but it's something that's actually very popular, especially out there with these Hollywood folks. I know Aaron Carter was into this stuff, you know, a lot. And it appears that Drake was actually pictured months ago. I think it was back in like December or something. He was in the car with his kid huffing balloons. And now he's being pictured in his car sucking on balloons. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Drake Bell looks to be in a bad place, inhaling from a balloon that appears to be filled with nitrous oxide, a troubling move that comes amid some very crazy weeks for him. The former child star was sitting in his car Tuesday outside of his L.A. home, sucking on a fully inflated balloon. In one of the photos, you can see a canister, a canister of some sort, which resembles a typical nitrous oxide container. Of course, huffing nitrous is a dangerous but popular method of getting high. A few seconds of euphoria and a head rush without using hard drugs. By the way, this is not Drake's first rodeo with nitrous oxide. He was pictured doing the exact same thing back in December, and in that instance, his young son was in the car too. And yes, inhaling nitrous oxide without a medical professional supervision or guidance is indeed bad for one's health. So Drake is very obviously going through it right now. And... It sucks that so many people that I grew up watching from Amanda Bynes to we've been talking about Bam Margera, Drake Bell, they're all going through these issues. And it feels like, you know, we grew up watching them. And now that we're adults, we're watching these people destroy themselves. And it feels like a lot of my peers enjoy watching these people destroy themselves. It's like we went from... Amanda Bynes entertaining us on The Amanda Show. We went from Britney Spears entertaining us with her music. We went from Drake Bell entertaining us on Drake and Josh. We went from Bam Margera entertaining us on Viva La Bam and Jackass to these people entertaining us by spiraling out of control right in front of our faces. And a lot of people are tuned in and they love it. Honestly, the biggest surprise from this story for me is that Drake doesn't have a fan base that is supplying him balloons. That's what surprises me here. Because these fans of these celebrities, they are so like, I feel like they're like mind controlled by stardom or fame. Which is weird because a lot of these people aren't even necessarily that famous anymore. Like, in reality, a lot of these people that people still view as big celebrity stars, like people you pass by every day are doing better in life than they are. But I mean, I guess people don't realize that. But anyways, it's like people view these people as gods or something and they put them on these pedestals. But with Drake, I don't necessarily see that. Mind you, I don't think I've looked into the situation deep enough. But at the very least, I don't see many people enabling Drake. So that's a good thing. That's one thing he has. You don't have a crazed fan base out here enabling you to ruin your life. Now, with that being said, I've talked about this countless times. It's time to start having open discussions about what is happening to these people and why so many child stars or young stars are going down this path later in life. What demons are they running from? What has happened to them in Hollywood? Who is responsible? Who can be held accountable? Because I've said this a thousand times. I'm big on people being held responsible and accountable for their own actions. But when it comes to people like Amanda Bynes and Drake Bell... I do believe that certain things within the industry drove them to do the things that they do. They drove them off the deep end. So I hope that 
we are able to open up and start having the much needed conversations that we need to have. We need to start to stop shying away from these conversations. We need to stop enabling people to spiral out of control and to ruin themselves. And we really need to start addressing the issue because too many child stars and young stars are dealing with the same thing. There's a reason why all of these people have these issues. And that reason is Hollywood. So until people are ready to expose Hollywood and the stuff that goes on in Hollywood, then I don't think people are really ready to have conversations about what's happening to these young stars or stars who were once young and came into the business when they were young. But just like with Bam, just like with Britney, just like with so many others before them, I wish Drake Bell the best. I hope that these people can one day realize that their life is worth so much more than this. You're Drake Bell. You don't got to sit in your freaking driveway sucking on balloons. There's so many better things that you could be doing in life. But let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Hopefully we get some news stories soon that I could joke about a little bit more. But while you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.